YouTube, man, it is Alan H. We're back at it again with another video. And today, Mikey Williams just shocked fans as he's officially back and just had one of his first AU games of the season. And man, let's just say things went crazy. Now, before I get in this video, man, like the video, show some love to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. We are growing by the day. Man, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you get a notification every time I upload a new vid so you do not miss any of the heat that I'm dropping. Now, I appreciate each and every one of you but man Mikey Williams is officially back in AU now prior to him going and entering AU I had said this before man he needs to go play EYBL the competition is so high in EYBL and I was saying man that's usually the best place where a lot of the really good athletes go and they play and of course all the games are taken seriously you really don't see anything too too crazy where players are not trying because they're almost in front of college coaches just about every single game now, I got to be honest here, the Adidas circuit really looks like they have a lot of talented players this year. So I don't mind that Mikey Williams actually went there. Now, he's actually on the team. We all can go. And if you guys are some OG fans, you guys should know who used to play for that team back in the day. And this is a huge throwback. Now, Marvin Bagley, back when he was in eighth grade, actually played there and not not to mention he actually got an offer from UConn back in eighth grade and he actually played alongside Tyler Tiger Campbell who actually is currently at UCLA a lot of you guys probably know have heard that name and I definitely got to do updated video on Tiger for sure but that dude was a bucket back then as well and is still a really solid player now Mikey Wilms playing for this team they've had a number of really good players from the past come through this program so I know he's going to be straight and you guys remember back in California he actually played Adidas circuit as well for a pretty good team there and man he's doing the same thing he stayed on the circuit and i have no problem with it the amount of players there and what he's doing on the court is valid now one of the games where he actually went up against team trey young he actually scored 24 points which is pretty valid but a lot of people are forgetting to mention who he has on his team as well chris livingston now this dude is a bucket as well he was doing his thing and had 33 and man i gotta be honest here the environment was the most insane part that i've seen about this game now it's one thing to have games where a lot of players are coming but man day by day we're starting to see that mikey williams is in fact a celebrity he is not a regular hooper and man even watching the game if i'm gonna make sure to put some clips in here if you look at the environment that he's playing in man the stands look ridiculous they look like they have a ton of people there and maybe that's just because how it's set up and how the stands and everyone's looking down at them but man it is packed there is no room and there are plenty plenty of people watching the games and what it really made me remind me of was another was people playing like Zion Williamson or even LaMelo Ball. Now, you guys remember when LaMelo Ball went to go play Zion Williamson? Man, there was a line to even get into the gym, and it was tough. People had to go there and wait for a long time. Some people didn't even get in the gym because it was so packed. Now, those games, of course, were insane, and seeing those two guys go head to head, you guys know everyone was going to have a show. But in addition to this, even LaMelo Ball on his own, when he would have regular games and when they would play teams like Matter Day or any of these hype teams, he would have a ton, a ton of players coming to watch him play and this really what reminds me of when we see Mikey Williams play because that crowd in that building looked insane now Mikey even had to get escorted off of the court now when he was walking out, I'm gonna put this video in here as well this dude was walking out and really had to get escorted off the court and all these people are really walking behind him probably trying to get autographs or something like that and it just shows the level and how basketball has really changed and what social media has done think about it players back then did not have this type of clout and really this type of fame and popularity I'm not saying it's undeserved but this just didn't happen back then we didn't see this type of stuff as much but currently right now with everyone able to see what these players are up to 24 7 and you know mikey has the clout has a couple million on instagram TikTok, whatever other social medias he has man everyone is paying attention to this next move and man it's really crazy to me how popular of a player this dude is now, of course, Mikey Williams is going to have to choose where he's going to go after high school. But man, this dude has a ton of time. And I really think it was a good move for him to play in this Adidas circuit. It really looks like they have a ton of talented players here. 
But man, I wouldn't mind him switching teams, maybe go hop in an EYBL tournament here and now, because you guys know how players do it nowadays. They really switch AU tournaments whenever they want. But it is solid. He's looking like a solid player. Definitely looks like he's fitting into the roster here. And it's really exciting to see this dude finally get back on the court, but specifically AU. I think AU is the best place to really prove yourself. It's really good place to prove yourself because of the competition level. You're not just playing your high school competition, even though his high school competition was valid. Now he gets to play against a lot of other people and it's really exciting to see. Now, one other thing I definitely have to mention is when Mikey Williams was playing for Compton Magic, man, some of the teams he was playing against, I gotta be honest here, they did not look valid. That one video of him really throwing it, someone threw the ball to him from out of bounds and he dunked it on that guy. I gotta be honest, this dude really doesn't look like he hoops like that. And the competition was looking suspect. But now that he's playing here and then Charlotte and playing with this team, I definitely got to give him credits here. He has proved people wrong. I think that he's just going to continue to do that while he's playing against this higher level competition. He's done that ever since he really came to Lake Norman Christian. Ever since he came, of course, the competition level was higher and he's playing against top, top level competition. This dude has proved himself. Now, Mikey Williams actually even got to go head to head against Michael Porter Jr.'s brother, and it's Javon Porter. And man, if you guys remember anything about Michael Porter Jr. in high school, this dude was a cheat code. I gotta be honest. He had one of the best high school careers that I've seen. And it's a combination of what this dude could do, not only because of his shooting and his shooting was lights out, man. And it, but him being that tall as well, he was very tall. You guys definitely got to check how tall he exactly was at that high school point. But he was very tall and being that he could pretty much dribble the ball and was a bucket man. he was throwing the ball off the backboard dunking and his jump shot was so money that it was impossible for anyone to guard him. I got to be honest here. No one was holding that guy. And it's really interesting to see his brother now is playing as well. And Mikey Williams went head to head and his brother is 6'10". But man, we will see if this dude is going to follow in his brother's footsteps and hopefully in a good way. We don't want to see any injuries or anything like that. Now, I just saw a comment on Instagram and man, I'm shook at reading this. I got to be honest here. Now, someone said they actually dapped him up and got an autograph from Mikey Williams. Now, to me, this is crazy. The amount of popularity this dude has, people are asking for autographs and all this other type of stuff. Man, I guess it really comes with the territory when you're a top talented athlete at this level. Nowadays, man, you're basically a celebrity and Mikey Williams carries himself like that, but I think he's doing a pretty good job on the court. But I want to know, what do you guys think about Mikey Williams' AAU debut? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think he is doing well? How good do you think his team is gonna do in the future? I really think he's setting himself up for success wherever he ends up going in the future just because, man, he's playing against good competition. Iron sharpens iron, and that's what you got to do if you want to get to the next level. But man, this is crazy. I never would have thought high school basketball would really reach this point. But then again, I guess LaMelo Ball and his brothers and even Zion Williamson, people were asking for autographs from them. So this is just the next generation. Man, this is crazy. But let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about him getting escorted? All this type of stuff, this fame his clout let me know is he overrated or does he actually have that talent to me he's been proving himself let me know in the comments down below but man make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications too so you get a new notification every time i upload a new video appreciate each and every one of you man all right it's lnh and i'm out